of the United States. I appeal to the people, the good people of the United States, the people of our country. Never, never forget, never forget the cost of these wars. Remember, remember these young men and women who have died, not only in the United States, but in Iraq, in Afghanistan. These are our brothers and sisters. These are human beings. War is not the answer. A conspiracy is any agreement between two or more people to commit a crime. Now, the official version of 9-11 is that there were 19 plus people who committed the crime. That's a conspiracy theory. There's another, there are other versions about 9-11 being an inside job. That's a conspiracy theory. What's the difference between that one and the official version? Is that the official version has no evidence supporting it. The alternate version has tons of evidence supporting it. There's your conspiracy theory. No matter what they tell you, a 110-story building cannot turn itself into powder in 10 seconds. They've taken over from the inside, America is going down. If you don't stand up, you're gonna to have to bend over and do what you're told. It's time for people to stand up. What we're doing is we're doing the banners one at a time. Because when you get them next to each other, we're gonna block each other. We've got signs on both sides. We're gonna be like one long Chinese dragon. What's happening, man? You're looking good, looking good. Yeah, what's happening? All right, Matt. Travis. Come on, buddy. Good to see you. What are you out here for? You came all the way from Bakersfield, didn't you? I did, yes. Now, why would you come all the way from Bakersfield to LA? Well, you know, it's, I, I, I can't think of a better way to spend a Saturday than to be out the afternoon living truth. You know, living in you know, and, uh, apart. Right on, That's man. That's a big way of stopping the war. That's why not Hey, man, we're marching for peace. Coming out here to, you know, affect change in the world, trying to raise awareness. But what is what is 9/11 have to do with peace? Well, 9/11 is the single biggest event that has created the global scenario that we all find ourselves in in the current day. It also happens to be the biggest lie that I've ever been told, and I haven't had believed it for about seven years. And uh, until October, I believed our government, and I believed that there was this Islamic movement to create jihad in our country, and that we were defending ourselves from that. And I've been now forced to face the realization that that's a lie and that our government actually self-inflicted all the damage of 9-11 on us and we've been attacked. And so I'm here to try to affect change in the sense of greater awareness and a peaceful uh, restoration of our, of our original constitutional values. Right on. As simple as that. and Obama is the left-handed puppet on the same New World Order asshole. Tens of thousands of first responders are being ignored. They're lying to you about the quality of the air at 9-11. And now they're dying and the money that's been allocated for them is being used to pay for lawyers to fight them in court. Blackwater and other mercenary armies are trying to move in on your territory. They can make you lay down your weapons get on the ground. They do that to our own soldiers in Iraq. They're trying to privatize everything, including the police force. There's nefarious forces in this country. You need to wake up. Don't let them turn you against the American people. Thank you. We appreciate your service. The world's got to know. You know, sooner or later, everyone's going to know. 
Uh, it's an open secret in Congress, they say. But uh, until we get the word to everyone on the street, no one's going to demand change. So we've got to carry these signs, keep trying to educate people, and hoping that uh, it catches on. About 10 months ago, I found out about 9-11. It led me on a search. The Lusitania was deliberately sent to German waters to get attacked on the behalf of the rich and powerful. On and on, CIA importing drugs into our country. On and on, the government is going to hell. seconds into powder. You can't even clap your hands 110 times in 10 seconds. You'll never make it up to 50. If you're being asked to believe a 110 floor building can turn itself into powder in 10 seconds. Get online and look it up. Look up building 7. There's too much to tell you here. We're just asking that you start with building 7. Oh! <laughs> 